Austin has pieced together $15 million to save life, uh, to save live music, I should say, and child care sectors. But as KXAN investigator Kevin Clark explains, the city will not be dipping into homelessness funding like the staff first proposed. It's only the second show Evan Charles has performed since February. We last spoke with him the day South by Southwest was canceled. Charles and his band Alta Mesa were expected to perform there, but the pandemic has robbed the livelihood of many musicians. We did put out a sort of seven inch A, a side, B side single in that time and a music video. Um, but of course we didn't get to support it the way we would have otherwise. Calls to help the hardest hit sectors, artists and music venues, restaurants and child care centers have grown. During the summer, a majority of music venues said they wouldn't be able to stay open by Halloween should the recession continue. I think it's made everybody not take live music for granted. Like maybe, I mean, I certainly did. I think a lot of other people probably did. On Thursday, council voted to approve an additional $15 million for struggling businesses. To actually do this and do this well and to leverage the dollars is going to be a lot of work. City staff had proposed more than half the money come from the Pay for Success initiative, which supports housing for those who are homeless, and contractor fees to the city's transportation department. But an afternoon amendment changed that, asking the city manager to explore funding that eight and a half million with sales tax dollars instead. Charles says he appreciates every dollar, but knows the need is endless. It's the same thing with the initial stimulus check. How long is 1200 really going to float you? How long is a thousand bucks really going to float you? Kevin Clark, KXAN News. City of Austin says it will soon select a vendor who will administer the $15 million. There are three funds, one for childcare and one for music venues and another for so-called legacy businesses.